can't hold it. The fake glasses? Yeah. Actually, they never fixed it. That's illegal. There's literally signs. So cute. So today it's the eclipse and I'm lucky that I just live like in the path of totality already in Texas. I know like people are like traveling over here just to see the eclipse, which is crazy. It's 12 right now. I think it starts at 1. But yeah, I'm wearing red because apparently the color will look different when the eclipse happens. Red and green, I think. My mom's wearing green, so we're gonna see what happens. Maybe maybe we'll just blow up. Maybe people will just combust. But yeah, um, I'm really excited. And hopefully, hopefully I don't go blind. Last time there was an eclipse, I kept accidentally looking at the sun. Like I would have my glasses on and then I would take them off and then like for a second or two, I would just look at the sun. And then when I looked away, like my vision was like all bright or whatever. But yeah, I'm excited. It's eclipse, it's eclipse season. It's beautiful. Take a picture, Chopper. I found it. I have my camera. Mom, are you getting counterfeit? are pretty recent. I like how like bumpy they look. Mm -hmm. They're cute. Out of the hot dogs. Well, the eclipse was a big bummer. I was so looking forward to seeing like all of the shadows and like the leaves that the shadows would cast because if you like, um, uh, like the, I don't, I can't like, I don't know like the scientific reason behind it or whatever, but I know that like the shadow gets casted or like reflected back onto the leaf. So it looks like uh, whatever 
the moon is placed on the sun. You see, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, I was really looking forward to that. I even had a coriander, a colander. It's not cor coriander, it's a spice. I was talking about like the big metal thing. There was no shadows because it was so um, cloudy. So that was unfortunate. I guess it was a cool experience still. Um, it just got really dark and there was nothing in the sky because it was so freaking cloudy. But whatever, um, the next one will be in 2044, so I'll look forward to that. I think I'll be like, um, I think I'll be in my 40s. What? Yeah, um, I know Europe is having one in two years. It's like a, it's like a tour. It's like a tour of a band. It's like the Eclipse World Tour. That's, that's literally like it's touring the whole world. But yeah, um, after the eclipse, me and my mom went shopping because it just felt like it was needed. We went thrift shopping and I found some clothing items that I wanted to share with y'all because I think I scored some pretty cool items. The first thing I got, the bag. If y'all know, then you know that I love stripes. I love all stripes. Stripes is like my favorite pattern in the whole world. So anytime I see like a striped shirt, I'm immediately tempted to buy it. And this one I just couldn't say no to. I could not say no. It's this like really cool striped shirt with this like flower graphic in the middle. And I just really love the way it fit me. It's from White House Black Market, which is like a pretty, not like expensive brand, but it's like an older lady type of brand that's like a little higher price. So um, it just got really dark in here. And then another thing that I bought was this leopard print. I just can't say no to leopard print either. I guess I just really can't say no to anything. <laughs> but it's this really cool leopard print. Um, I, I forget what the fabric is called, but it's like really scrunchy fabric. It scrunches really good. And um, it's really long. I thought it'd be really cool to layer like with a skirt or I don't know, pants and a skirt. But yeah, that was really cute. And the next thing I found, I think this was my favorite thing that I found. I found this really, really cute dog shirt. It is so cute. I love dogs and eagles. Um, they're not particularly, 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 particularly. I think I was saying it right. Anyways, they're not particularly my favorite uh, dog, but this was such a cool shirt. And I can tell that it's vintage because of the tag. It's one of those like vintage looking tags. So I was like, Dang, I gotta get this. I know that this brand does like other dogs too. I really want one for a Maltese because those are my favorite types of dogs. I love white fluffy dogs. But this was still a score in my eyes and I just love the, like, the way it fits. It's kind of like that oversized fit. So yes, very cool. The next thing that I got was these pair of capris. I think it's so funny because like a couple years ago I thought capris were hideous and I thought they were like a joke to wear. Like when people wore them I was like are you for real wearing a pair of capris? Are you for real wearing like a pair of pants that don't even go past your shin? Is that what a shin is? Like your ankle? Like I never understood it but now I understand. I just it just something clicked in me. Maybe it's just because I'm easily influenced by trends. But I really liked this pair and I just love uh, pinstriped like patterns in general. So I thought this was really cool and I can't wait to wear it. So the bookshelf was a lot taller than I expected, which isn't a bad thing. I just have to move my calendar and also my bubble mirror. There's this little support thing, number five. First of all, they did everything out of order. These are number four and this is number five. So this should have been number four and this should have been number five. <sighs> all the reviews were like, oh, it's so easy. Like it only took me 10 minutes. 
Meanwhile, I'm like breaking a sweat over here and my freaking brain is like hurting because I just can't process directions. I'm a visual learner and I know there's like pictures on that, but I'm like, I need someone to do it in front of me. I just need someone to do it for me. Like I, I mm. I sort of forgot that books just exist and it wasn't until like recently this year that I just started reading them more and I've been reading a book every night before I go to sleep and it's really relaxing most of the time I just fall asleep in bed though reading it but I feel like that's better than like scrolling on social media and falling asleep to Instagram reels but yeah when I was younger I was a big bookworm and you know how there's like horse girls? I was that, but I was a dragon girl. And I was obsessed with this book series called Aragon. And they're just really thick books. It's like an adventure book, kind of like The Hobbit type of thing. And whatever dragon book I could get my hand on really, I would I was reading it. But yeah, I've been reading a lot more lately and I've forgotten how wonderful it is. It's kind of like a rediscovered passion of mine. Now I'm reading 1984 by George Orwell. The words on this book are super super tiny and sometimes it like makes my head hurt and I like always lose where I'm at in my page which is sort of frustrating but maybe I just need to go to the eye doctor actually. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be washing my car today by myself because I'm too scared to take it to an actual car wash place because I know you have to like put your car in neutral and for some reason I'm just really scared of like the person like yelling at me if I do it wrong because I've seen it happen before I would just I just don't don't want to do that when I can I can I can wash it myself save some money while I'm at it so yeah it's been a while it's been like maybe a year, maybe more since I've washed my car. There's no excuses for that, but it's not, it's not that bad. I finished washing my car and for some reason it looks worse than what I started out with. I think I just dried it wrong so there's a lot of like streaks on it. The last thing I'm gonna do for my car is put this little sprout on it so that it looks like a little Pikmin. I saw someone else with this on their car and I was like <gasps> that's the cutest thing ever and it's so simple so I bought one too. I'm gonna put it on right now.
I can't believe that happened. I'm so hungry. <laughs> so today's lunch is some crab sushi. And I'm trying a new LaCroix flavor, tangerine. I don't really like sparkling water, but I've been forcing myself to drink it so that way I do like it and I stop drinking sugary sodas. But I'm gonna try the tangerine one. It's pretty good. So far my favorite one is the plum one. I think it's like the beach flavor type. It tastes really good. It tastes like a carbonated Capri Sun. So that one's my favorite, but if y'all have any sparkling water recommendations, please let me know. And then I also bought some cookies. I had to give this back to the cash register person because I was like, I forgot my wallet, can I come back? And they're like, yeah, of course. Cause like I had already like picked them out from the freaking cabinet. Anyways, I think they're like butterscotch flavor or toffee flavor. They have like actual toffee bits in them. So it's like kind of chewy and kind of like salty. They're actually really delicious. They're my favorite. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat my lunch and chill for a little. Huh? Oh, Q's just inside, facing a strong opponent. Chives. It is true. He came back to me. So, I finally finished my first ever journal, diary, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like proud of myself because I never thought that I would be like a journaling type of person. I mean, I used to, like, I kind of was in the beginning. I would only journal, like, when something negative happened, though. And so, like, I just was never consistent with it. And I started this one at... I started this one 2022, so two years ago. About last year, during the winter, I was just like, I'm gonna write every day. And so I stuck with that, and I finished pretty fast all these pages. Which... Now that I'm like reflecting back on it, I'm like, I really don't know what I'm going to do with all these future journals that I'm going to have because if I keep writing every day, like obviously it's going to accumulate and I'm just going to end up with a bunch of journals. Like I could probably like just throw them away after, but part of me like wants to keep them so that way in the future I can read them. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with them, I guess, and like where I can even store them because I feel like if I just leave them in my room, like someone's going to like read them or something. I don't know, it's pretty crazy, like, all this, like, this is literally, like, my life. My life is in here. So, yeah. Um, it's a bit of a predicament, but, um, I think it'll be fine. Journaling is really fun, and, um, I did buy a new journal, and I bought a new journal that I'm really excited to open because it's a really cool one. For some reason, I have a very specific craving to play Fortnite right now, and I was so ready to, but I forgot that the PS4 takes, like, years to update, especially when you haven't played it in months, so...
Wow. <laughs> it is. What's it called? Oh. Whoa. Wow, you're nice. good. Oh, snap! Oh, I could have got that guy. So lately, I've been really reflective about how I want to improve my life. Maybe it was just the eclipse, but I swear, like these past two weeks have felt so weird and I feel like now more than ever, I've been really reflecting on what I want to keep in my life and what I want to get rid of. So it's really easy for me to know what I could be doing to get better or what I need to be doing to be better. I'm very self-aware of everything in my life and maybe that's just because I overthink a lot but I I don't know it's kind of a blessing and a curse because self-awareness is of course like the first step to like even improve your life but it's also like it's just the beginning and that's not even like the actual part of doing something. The actual hard part for me is following through with everything that I want to do. It's really hard for me to hold myself accountable whenever I like start to regress or do something I know I shouldn't be doing. For example, I deleted Instagram like maybe three weeks ago and it was pretty good for like a week or two but very recently I re-downloaded it and I had a relapse. I had a very bad relapse and I was in bed scrolling through Instagram reels for like an hour yesterday and I literally felt so guilty. It felt like I committed a crime. It felt like the cops were gonna like come to my house and put handcuffs on me like that's how bad it felt to re-download Instagram and I think I think I've identified the problem at least for me I think the thing is is like it's just hard to quit things cold turkey and it's definitely possible but I just don't have that sheer willpower that can like get me to do it and something I realized is that it's okay it's okay to not do everything at once and accomplish everything. It's okay to take things slow and ease into it rather than make it so sudden and so fast. Because nine times out of ten, at least for a few days, you'll do what you had goals for and follow through with them. But I've noticed with myself at least that there's a pattern. Like I'll start it and then I'll just slowly go back to my old ways. And everything new in life is a learning experience. And from that, I've learned not to hold myself up to an impossible standard and I think self-improvement shouldn't be something rushed or quick because it's also not linear like things take time and things go up and down and a lot of the times it's very internal and so you have to sort of sit with yourself and ask yourself questions and sort of reflect on your own identity. For me I realized there's two things I need to ask myself before I make a commitment to change something about myself. I try to have a conversation with both my present and my future self. So your future self, you could be asking like, who do I wanna become? Does this even align with my values and my beliefs? And then your past self is sort of like, why? Like, why do I feel the need to change? Why do I feel this way? Or why do I keep repeating these initial habits that I have that I think I want to change. So it's just important to sort of get to know yourself and find out the actual motive behind whatever it is that you think is going to improve your life. It's definitely a slow process, but it's also a very rewarding process because nothing drastic is going to happen at first, but over time and eventually like changes will start to happen and it it just becomes natural. Like it's not even like it's not even like you'll be surprised because it's just something that like you grow accustomed to and it becomes a part of yourself. So it's like, this is myself. You know what I mean? I think everyone should be proud of themselves for mm, knowing that they need to change. I don't know, or maybe you don't need to change. Maybe you're just already perfect. But I think the majority of people are still trying to figure out life. And I think everyone, like when asked the question, like what could you be doing better? They at least think of like a few things for me. It's to stop eating sugar, to stop getting on my phone so much, and to practice um, art at least once a week. I also want to like go for walks every day and um, just be grateful. And I could probably go on about other stuff, but I think it's just an evolution and 
not something that's like so definite that you like have to hold yourself up to. If you can't tell, I've been reading a lot of self-improvement books. I don't know, self-improvement books are sort of like a double-edged sword because at one hand you're like learning about it, but on the second hand, like if you're not actually applying it, you're just like in this endless loop of reading it and thinking you're doing something, but really you're just reading it. So I try to like not read too much, but I do like reading it because I think it motivates me better and actually like helps me learn. Right now I'm reading Atomic Habits by James Clear and I've barely even read any like this much and it's like changed my perception of goals and like who I want to become so yeah I would definitely recommend this even though I haven't finished it it's already really good but yeah I just sort of wanted to share with y'all some of the stuff that I think I've learned recently and I hope everyone is having a nice spring tomorrow I'm going to the renaissance fair with my family so that should be really fun I'm really excited Have you had any pictures? For my birthday, 50% off. Okay, he says Ford's win. I'm trying to tell you. These will probably be free then to be like. Do we want even buy? Whatever you want. They are famous for diving underneath the water to grab things like fish. <laughs> there he is. You can welcome Jinx. Hey, that way. Staring at buddy. Go that way. There we are. I see. Jinx, again, be the hawk. There he is. You can welcome. That way. There we go. His eyes are. Did you get that picture? Now, this is probably my favorite. Thinking about it. Look at all this, right here, buddy. 